you are writing a book that you plan to publish, whether that's traditionally or whether you plan to self-publish it, I highly recommend that you start an Instagram account. Why is that? Well, we are about to get into that. The first reason why it's really great to start an Instagram account is to meet other authors. So there are a lot of different platforms where you can connect with other authors, you can start your own blog, you can join Facebook groups. But Instagram, I have found, is the, I guess, the easiest way that I have found a way to really engage in conversation. I have blogged for five years, and while I've met some really great people and have some really good, long-lasting relationships with other authors, fellow writers, um, Instagram, I've only been on for about a month now, and I already have way more engaging conversations about writing and about what other authors are doing than I ever did with my blog. It's really important to meet other people who enjoy writing because this will keep you going on days when you don't feel like writing or when you get discouraged or even when you think nobody's going to read this book, why am I putting so much work into it? If you have a group of people who have done this before or are doing it with you, you will feel so much more motivated to keep writing. When you follow someone who writes, or if someone who has followed you happens to be an author, then direct message them. Ask them how they got into writing, how long they've been writing. Are they traditionally published? Are they planning on self-publishing? You can learn so much information from these conversations. Which leads me to my next reason why Instagram is so important for authors. That is networking. Instagram isn't just a great place to find fellow writers and authors, it is a great place to find formatters or editors or someone to design your book cover. I have actually found my formatter and the person who is um, designing my book cover. I found them both on Instagram, both by mistake really. They just happened to be either someone I followed or someone who followed me and we started talking through the direct messages and it just came out like, oh, they do formatting and I like what they do. I like the examples that they showed me. I think I'm going to go with them. And let me tell you, it did turn out fabulously. You can, if you decide to self-publish your book, you are going to need a lot of people to help you get this done. And even if you are going to be publishing traditionally, you may want an editor to look over your manuscript before you send it into agents. Or at least those first three or four chapters, since that's usually what agents will ask for when you are querying them. You're going to want at least one editor possibly two or three. Some people get an editor to look through their overall story and make remarks on what kinds of things need to be changed as far as like the plot or character arcs. And then you're definitely going to want a copy editor who is someone who's going to look at grammatical errors and sentence structure and things like that. So there's an editor, possibly one or two. Then you're also going to want someone to format your book this is something that you can learn to do yourself, but it's very time consuming. And if it's not something you're already familiar with, you should probably just go with a formatter. Like in my case, my formatter did more than just make sure that there weren't any orphans or widows or anything like that, and that the margins were right, and that the page gutters were good, and all of that sort of thing, so that it will go into Kindle Direct Publishing and there won't be any problems. There's a lot. There's page numbers that you got to worry about and if you put the author name or maybe the chapter title or something like that. But the cool thing that my formatter did is put this beautiful picture of a gemstone because my book is called The Hash of a Stone and it is about a gemstone. Put this beautiful image of a gemstone on the top of the of each chapter header. And she also put this really cool image in the background of every act title. So my book looks really cool now. <laughs> you can check out my Instagram account if you want to see a sneak peek into what the book will look like on the inside. And the third thing you're going to need besides an editor and a formatter is someone to design your book cover. So this is also something you could do yourself technically, but unless you have already had experience in graphic design, I would say go with a professional. While people like to use that saying that says, don't judge a book by its cover, we all judge a book by its cover. You want your cover to be beautiful, you want it to really grab people's attention and look really sharp and awesome, so you are going to want someone to design that for you. 
So when you get to the last draft, you're ready to self-publish, you need to find all of these people. Well, it can be really helpful if you've already made those connections. I personally wish that I had started an Instagram account much sooner. Having these connections already in place can be a huge time saver, so you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to search out people to do these things. Plus, it's probably someone you've carried on a conversation with, you've seen their posts, you feel a little more comfortable trusting them with something like that because they're your friend now. The third reason why authors need to have an Instagram account is because it is a great marketing tool. I know you hear the word marketing and you want to run away screaming. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I think that marketing is probably the most intimidating part of publishing. And guess what? Even if you decide to go with the traditional way of publishing, you still have to market your novel. This can be one of the most overwhelming parts of publishing, simply because we're writers, not marketers. But Instagram is a great way to kind of ease you into marketing. It doesn't feel like you're just shoving your book in people's faces and going, buy this, it's amazing. You are simply connecting with fellow authors, with readers, someone who enjoys the genre that you write in, and making really pretty posts. Making some really beautiful aesthetics that, that capture the theme of your novel or the personality of one of the characters in the novel is a great way to get people excited about your story, to get people to understand what your story is about without feeling like you are just shoving it in their face. People also really enjoy getting to see a kind of behind the scenes look at the life of a writer, which is actually pretty boring, but I know I really enjoy seeing little snippets of what people are working on or just kind of the environment where they're working. Maybe they post a picture of their desk or their laptop with their coffee or tea or whatever drink that they like to drink while writing or a picture of their laptop screen with the document open that they're working on at the moment or maybe the total word count for what they did that day. It's just really fun to feel like you are a part of their story writing process and it lets people know that you are working on a book and gets them excited about it without actually marketing. So whether you are going to publish traditionally or whether you're going to self-publish, Instagram is a great tool to get you involved and meeting other authors to get you connected to the people that you may need, whether that's an editor or someone to format your book or um, someone to design a cover for your book. And it's also a great way to market your book for free. So what are you waiting for? Go start an Instagram account. But before you do that, like this video and subscribe because you don't want to miss any writing tips. And have fun with your Instagram account. I will see you next week.